Join us as we take on the challenge of identifying the 10 worst foods for parents to buy their kids to help you avoid the high sugar risks. Some of the foods parents commonly buy for their kids are actually loaded with unhealthy amounts of sugar. Hey there, parents! Today, I've got some eye-opening information to share with you. Have you ever stopped to think about the amount of sugar in the foods you buy for your kids? Well, get ready to be shocked because some of the foods you commonly purchase are actually loaded with unhealthy amounts of sugar. Now, let's dive into the topic of the 10 worst foods parents can buy for their kids due to their high sugar content. We all want the best for our children, but unknowingly, we might be putting their health at risk with the foods we choose for them. High sugar consumption in children can lead to a myriad of health issues, including obesity, tooth decay, and an increased risk of chronic diseases. It's crucial for parents to be aware of the risks associated with excessive sugar intake and make informed choices when it comes to their children's diet. Let's explore the 10 worst foods that parents often buy for their kids, unaware of the hidden sugar content and its potential health impacts. Number 1. Sweetened beverages, soda, sports drinks, and sweetened teas are major sources of added sugars. These drinks can lead to rapid spikes in blood sugar levels, contribute to obesity, and increase the risk of type 2 diabetes and heart disease. Number 2. Breakfast cereals. Many breakfast cereals marketed to children are loaded with sugar. Even those labeled as healthy or whole grain can have high sugar content. This can contribute to a spike in blood sugar levels and lead to weight gain and tooth decay. Number 3. Fruit-flavored snacks, gummies, fruit roll-ups, and other fruit-flavored snacks are often perceived as healthy because they contain fruit. However, they are usually high in added sugars and lack the fiber and nutrients found in whole fruits. Number 4. Yogurt, flavored yogurts, especially those marketed to children, can contain a significant amount of added sugar. While yogurt can be a good source of calcium and probiotics, it's best to choose plain yogurt and add fresh fruit for sweetness. Number 5. Juice drinks. Many juice drinks and fruit punches contain little actual fruit juice and are instead filled with added sugars. Even 100% fruit juice, while free of added sugars, is high in natural sugars and lacks the fiber of whole fruit. Number 6. Granola bars. Often seen as a healthy snack, many granola bars are packed with sugar, syrups, and chocolate chips. They can quickly become a source of excess sugar if consumed frequently. Number 7. Flavored milk. Chocolate and strawberry milk contain added sugars that can significantly increase a child's daily sugar intake. Plain milk is a much better option for providing necessary nutrients without the added sugar. Number 8. Canned fruit. Fruit canned in syrup, even light syrup, adds unnecessary sugar to a child's diet. Opt for fruit canned in its own juice or water, or better yet, fresh fruit. Number 9. Ketchup and other condiments. Ketchup, barbecue sauce, and other condiments often contain high amounts of added sugar. These can contribute to the overall sugar intake without parents realizing it. And finally, number 10, snack cakes and pastries. These treats are high in sugar and often consumed as snacks or desserts. They provide little nutritional value and can contribute to unhealthy weight gain and increased risk of chronic diseases. But wait, there's one food on the list that stands out as the most shocking or surprising. This particular item packs a massive amount of sugar, making it a major culprit in the fight against childhood obesity and related health issues. Parents, it's time to be vigilant and scrutinize the sugar content of the foods you give to your little ones. Among the foods listed, sweetened beverages, are often considered the worst offenders for several reasons. High sugar content, soda, sports drinks, and sweetened teas contain very high levels of added sugars. A single can of soda can have as much as 40 grams of sugar, which is more than the daily recommended limit for children. Liquid calories. The body doesn't register liquid calories in the same way it does solid food, leading to overconsumption of calories without feeling full. This can easily contribute to weight gain and obesity. Frequent consumption. Sweetened beverages are often consumed multiple times a day, significantly increasing daily sugar intake. They are easily accessible and heavily marketed, making them a common choice for children. Lack of nutritional value. These drinks provide no essential nutrients. They are essentially empty calories that contribute to health problems without offering any nutritional benefits. Health risks. Obesity. Regular consumption of sugary drinks is strongly linked to obesity in children. Liquid sugar calories do not trigger the same satiety signals as solid foods, leading to increased overall calorie intake. Type 2 diabetes. High sugar intake from these beverages can lead to insulin resistance and an increased risk of type 2 diabetes. Dental problems. The high sugar content in these drinks promotes tooth decay. 
The acidity of many of these beverages also contributes to the erosion of tooth enamel. Heart disease. Excessive consumption of sugary drinks is associated with higher risk factors for heart disease, such as increased triglycerides, inflammation, and higher LDL cholesterol levels. Tips for parents. Read labels. Check food labels for added sugars. Ingredients like high fructose corn syrup, sucrose, and glucose indicate the presence of added sugars. Choose whole foods, opt for whole fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins over processed and packaged foods. Lead by example, model healthy eating habits by choosing low sugar foods and drinks for yourself and your family. Recommendations Encourage water. Water should be the primary beverage for children. It's hydrating and free of calories and sugar. Milk and 100% fruit juice, offer milk in limited amounts of 100% fruit juice instead of sugary drinks. Even then, it's better to encourage whole fruits over juice. Set limits, if sweetened beverages are consumed, they should be limited to special occasions rather than being a daily habit. Educate, teach children about the health risks associated with sugary drinks and encourage them to make healthier choices as well as the importance of a balanced diet. By focusing on reducing the consumption of sweetened beverages, parents can make a significant impact on their children's overall health and reduce the risk of obesity, diabetes, and other related health issues. In conclusion, it's essential to be mindful of sugar intake when selecting foods for your kids. By being proactive and making healthier choices, you can help safeguard your children's health and well-being in the long run. I urge you all to subscribe to our channel for more videos on healthy eating tips. Don't forget to share your thoughts or experiences in the comments section below. Let's work together to promote a healthier lifestyle for our children. Thank you for watching.